many organizations undertake multi-year transformations where they attempt to upgrade the overall performance of the business. These transformations often follow a path of upfront investment in sustainable tools and processes with improved financial results coming years later. Let's call them build it and they will come approaches. This path is the traditional choice and seems to make a lot of sense as people say you have to invest and change takes time. This sounds good and is easy to accept, but it does not mean it is true. There are fundamental flaws to the build it and they will come approach. First, most of these transformations fail in achieving their goals. In fact, a recent Harvard Business School study showed that the failure rate may be as high as 97%. In addition, you feel locked into the path that you've developed for your journey because deviations can put your hoped for return at risk or push out the back-end results even further. Given the reality of the new normal economy with volatile energy prices, currency swings, and black swan events, the expectation should be that your path will need to change. A build it and they will come approach also requires that you invest leadership, time, and resources motivating individuals with the promise of future results. One analogy is a weight loss program that requires committing to a completely new lifestyle of diet and exercise, but openly proclaims that you won't lose weight for two years. How many people would see that all the way through? But there is a better path, a path that more organizations would take if they knew that they could. A path that leads with the results and has a number of advantages. First, it is better because the results generated are much greater, even for the same destination. Second, because you generate results early, you learn what it will take for your organization to do this sustainably long term. You can then improve your overall approach with this feedback. You can also adjust your path as business conditions change, giving yourself the flexibility to be more nimble and responsive rather than feeling locked in to a rigid path. Finally, you can use the early results as a catalyst for your transformation. Rather than requiring leadership resources to keep your organization on track, success breeds success and your people will be self-motivated. Making your overall change effort much easier. The reason more organizations do not take the results first path is because they cannot. The typical path is built around engaging the organization so that hundreds and thousands of people can each make a small difference, adding up to a big change. The results first path relies on a different skill set. It starts with a handful of highly talented individuals tackling the most valuable and often most difficult opportunities to show that the real bottom line change can occur quickly. This initial push creates results to reinvest in the process. It also creates a larger group that has already been positively impacted by the change and is engaged in its success. Opponents of the results first path often deride it as focused on short-term, unsustainable improvement. This is not what we are prescribing, as it is of no use to anyone either. Instead, we are talking about flipping the order of the build it and they will come approach, moving the results to the front and the investment in sustainability only once we have learned what works for our organization. When you zoom in on the results first path, it actually looks more like this. Each interim step is built around a set of breakthrough financial results that engages a larger portion of the organization. You will build internal capability and learn what is required to successfully generate long-term results for your business. This means that you will also have much greater flexibility to increase your targeted results, deliver your financial savings earlier, and increase confidence in your ability to deliver. You can have great results now and transform your organization at the same time.